Praise be to God. Daily one missionary biography. Today's missionary, Pastor G. Sundaram. Date of birth, 7-2-1909. Died in 1989. City, Palliyadi. Country, India. Place of vision, India. A pastor's meeting was being conducted and the attendees opined that such meetings must be held regularly. Pastor Sundaram asked them about their true intention behind organizing such meetings regularly. One pastor said that through such meetings the prevailing problems in churches can be discussed and solutions can be proposed. Another pastor said that the meetings will provide opportunities to share the truths of God. Yet another pastor suggested that they will increase the unity and harmony among the servants of God. Pastor Sundaram was however not satisfied by these replies. He again asked the pastors, though all these views are noteworthy, what exactly should be the main agenda for these meetings? He went on and suggested that such meetings must place more emphasis on prayer. His ideas and advice led the formation of the full gospel ministers fellowship. Born in a small town called Palliyadi in the district of Kanyakumari, Tamil Nadu, Sundaram completed his studies amid hardships. In 1929, Sundaram went to Malaysia along with his younger sister and worked as a teacher there. He faced many trials and temptations of youth, there which he led him away from God. One day, while walking along a street in Kuala Lumpur, the Spirit of God led him to a house where a small group of people had gathered to worship God. The words of the preacher touched his heart and he was convicted of his sins. He entirely committed his life to do God's will. Realizing God's call in his life, he dedicated himself to do God's ministry and returned to Tamil Nadu in 1933 to be appointed as the minister of the Ceylon Pentecostal Mission. Sundaram led a prayerful life. The Church Apostolic Christian Assembly, established by him in 1948, continues to carry out the work of the Lord with hundreds of branches across India and abroad. Beloved, will you obey the voice of the Lord to fulfill His purpose on this earth? God bless you.